I'm the Great Orbax. I'm here today with Dr. Mike Massa to discuss the concept of momentum. So, Mike? <laughs> so, we've been talking a lot about motion, uh, looking at quantities like force, acceleration, velocity. Uh, if I were to throw a ball at you at 50 meters per second, <laughs> Uh, it sounds like you might get hurt, but uh, there's more information necessary than just the speed of something to determine how it's going to interact with you. Uh, I mean, for example, see, pretty fast, but he didn't get hurt. We want to introduce a new quantity now that incorporates not only the velocity of an object, but also the mass. Oh! <laughs> and that quantity is called momentum. The momentum of an object is its mass multiplied by the velocity vector. We give that a new value of momentum. Now momentum is a vector and it's very important to keep that in mind. So we're going to be looking at a couple of examples in one dimension and two dimensional motion and like Orbach said the direction is important. Let's let's take a very simple case right now. Suppose we had a ball that we threw at a wall uh, maybe at five meters per second is the initial speed. It's going to bounce off the wall and come back a little bit slower. How about three meters per second? Now, there's a change in momentum associated with this. It's, so let's give it a mass, one kilogram. And let's look at the initial and final momentum. Now, momentum is just mass times velocity, so that's one kilogram times five meters per second, or five kilogram meters per second. The final momentum is going to be one kilogram times three meters per second, or three kilogram meters per second. Now, suppose you were asked, what's the change in momentum of the ball during that collision? We could say delta P, P final, minus P initial. And if we forget the fact that momentum's a vector, we might just say, well, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. But direction matters here, so this is not going to be correct. Let's define our positive x direction here. So the 5 kilogram meters per second, the initial momentum is a positive quantity whereas the final momentum is in the negative direction. So when we do the change in momentum, we're looking at 5 minus negative 3, which is going to give us an answer of 8 kilogram meters per second, a much bigger change in momentum than if we consider them just to be scalar quantities. I think your marker's running out. <laughs>